Hi, my name's Martin. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're a user of Dynamics GP. Now, it's a complex ERP system. There are thousands of tables and literally hundreds of thousands of fields that store the data you enter into GP. Now, you as an end user deserve the right to be able to report on all of the data that goes into the ERP. And that's what Smartless Builder has been designed for. For people like you and I that are not programmers, that need to get at, report at, share data out of Dynamics GP with everybody that works in your organization. So Smartless Builder is designed for that. Let's go and take a look and I'll show you how it works. So on screen here, we've got a smart list. You'd be very familiar with smart lists and all the power of the list reporting tool where you can sort, find, restrict, use the go-tos and that great stuff of smart list. So what I want to show you now is where smart list builder takes smart list to the next level. So firstly, if you find a smart list that doesn't contain all of the data you want and you want to modify it, you can simply click the modify button here and that will take you into smart list builder and let you add more fields, more columns, more information, calculated fields, all those things that you might want to add to those existing lists. The other thing you could do is start from scratch. And if I was to start from scratch, I'd click new, and it's going to ask me what tables would I like to find or where would I like to grab that data from, from my report. Now that's something end users like you and I don't know. We don't know the thousands of tables behind GP. So what we've built for you is this tool here. So if you were sitting with, say, you need to report on accounts payable. So we'd pull up the accounts payable transaction entry screen. Um, in here, we don't know where all that data is stored. It's the PM0010 something, we don't know. So we're gonna to go to tools and use the table finder. So table finder will tell me exactly where all the data that I can enter into that screen is stored in the back end. So now we can say, hey, the payables transaction data is stored in these tables. Now that's still too many. We don't know which one to look at. So I'm gonna to go to the field and say, we really wanna report on the document number and the data related to the document number. That's gonna return for me the four tables in GP where that data is stored. Now we don't want ones that haven't been posted, so we're gonna go and grab the payables transaction open file, and it's ready to build me a list. It's selected all of the fields in that table that we will include in our smart list. Now, if I don't want them all in there, I can turn some off and go, look, the, the doc type's not really important and we can turn off other fields in here. Um, the batch, we don't mind. The disc, we don't give discounts and so forth. So you can start to control what you'll see. When you're done with that, all you need to do is click create a smart list. Important thing to note here is that you could also create an Excel report or a navigation list from that one's place. If we hit create smart list, it's going to go off and do that, so we'll call this pay transactions and payables, and we'll give it a name, and that will create a smart list for me in the smart list builder application. Now, the nice thing here is for those of you that are end users, what you get to see is the nice, friendly display names. I can see that the voucher number, and it will be called voucher number on this report. Now, for you, if you don't call it voucher number, you can change it, and you can say this is the um, PM number for payables management and give it a new name. You could change vendor and you could call that, if you're like me from Australia, you might call that a creditor. Um, and you can change those fields and you can format them in any way you'd like. So for every one of these fields, if we were to say take the document amount, I can format that to say let's show the currency symbol or not. Let's make it a percentage. Let's show or don't show decimal places. Um, we could make the negative values um, show as negative and so forth so you can identify those credits and debits. So it's got all that built in so you can really format the fields. Now if you want to add more data to this report, as you can see there's already a whole bunch of data in here. We could come to the left and add as many Dynamics GP tables, extra smart lists, SQL Server tables, or any extended field into this report. So here every single field that's ever behind GP and if you can enter data you can get it out not only from GP but all of your third-party add-ons to GP um, you can use those as well so it's all available in this list and you can add one or ten or fifteen tables to this report and you can get the exact data you want all without being a programmer and that's probably the the best thing about this so let's pull up one we've built before and I'm going to grab my sales list and this will give you an example of how com complex this can be if you want to add 
a whole series of tables in here. So we've got the transaction amounts, the work, the customers, the user defined fields, the item master to grab data from that. And it's grabbing all of that data. And I can click on each of those and select the fields I'd like to have inside my report. Now, outside of that, I've also got a number of things I can do to this report. Firstly, I can put the columns in the order I would like. That's pretty cool. I can also place restrictions. So I can say with this report, before I give it to any users, I would like to put some filters on it. So only show where certain criteria are met. And your criteria are very strong, so we can grab any of those tables from this report and any field. Um, and we can then do is equal, contains, is less than, is greater than. So you can really filter that report down to make sure that you're getting just the data you want to share with people. Perhaps the best thing um, about that is that at the bottom of this screen, I'm able to um, limit the users that will see which of those restrictions. So we can say, hey, for John user, he gets access to restriction one, um, and another user gets access to restriction two to see the data just they need. Um, it really lets you streamline who sees what inside the business. Um, the other thing we can do here is a calculated field. Now this is really fun. Um, and that lets you report on data that didn't exist in your list. So calculations are very simple to add. You do not need to be a programmer. So if I pull this one up here and say, let's grab some information from here and let's grab the extended price, something you're all probably familiar with. So in here, I'm able to come and grab the extended price. All I need to do is double click on extended price and it adds that to my calculation. I can then say, we'd like to multiply that. So we'll grab a function and we can say multiply. And then I can just type in here and say, let's say we were calculating commission. And we know that our users are gonna get a 5% commission. So we'll call this calculated field commission. We'll make it a um, type of currency and we can save it. So we've now added data to GP that didn't exist um, and we're doing a calculation on commission, which we could then filter by users and, and display the way we wanted to. That's the beauty of calculated fields. Um, the other things we can do in here, which is really exciting, are the go-tos, is that will let you navigate GP. So there's a bunch of built-in go-tos for SmartList and this lets you build your own to say, I'd like to go to any screen in GP while I'm on a smart list. You'll see by default, this one has got a whole series of, of go-tos you can reach to. So I can go to the item pricing and item inquiry and the yearly summary, um, all from that one smart list. And you can go and add as many of those as you'd like. You can open forms, open another smart list. You can actually go to a website and validate some information. You can really get very powerful as to how you navigate Dynamics GP with the use of the go-tos inside Smart List Builder. One of the other functions that I'd quickly show you is another report. I'll pull that one up. And that's called the average salary. Now this is a bit dangerous um, and you can put full security onto the system. So only people with security could see information about payroll or about margins and so forth. So I wanted to bring that up and point that out that your data is still safe as long as you've set security. In this one though, we've used a feature under the options tab um, called summary. Um, so under the summary option, We've been able to say here, we want to summarize um, the average salary. So group it up by department. Um, so what it's doing there is saying, hey, roll it all up by department and give me an average. Don't show me every employee. Just give me the data I want. The other option in here is the multi-company. And multi-company will let you report one list across all of your Dynamics GP databases. All those ones you choose to work with. So again, a very powerful way of getting that data um, out and into a smart list. So all of that said, um, I hope you've seen there that SmartList Builder is an end user tool. It's a tool that any of you can use to get any data out of GP into a SmartList environment that you love. Um, and don't forget, the other places you can get that data is into an Excel report um, or into a navigation list. So from an end user perspective, it is the only way to grab data out of GP. It's designed for people that enter data to be able to get data. And really that's the point of your ERP. So thank you for listening. Um, and I hope that makes sense. And feel free to watch some of the other videos that go into more depth on SmartList Builder. Thank you.